Hi, it's Eva, sweet crafty gal, and I want a heavy project share here. So, over the weekend, I attended the um, Soul Cow Crafty um, Soul Cow Crafty Meetups, and I um, got my hands on a tag, on a tag flip. So, I was inspired by that to create my very first uh, tag flip. And this, I didn't, um, I don't have the ruler, but I think it was seven and a half inches from here to here so this is maybe about um, maybe six five or six inches here i'm not too sure i don't have my ruler on me it's downstairs but anyway i made this because i'm going to meet up with a friend my crafty friend and um i thought i'd film this video before i gave it to her so i made this all in one night i was um I was really inspired and I stayed up a little later than I usually do, but I just had to get it done because I, I, I just couldn't stop. So here's my tag. First, I had this wooden um, tag and I put the word happy on there and it has like this ombre effect. And it's, um, I got it at Michael's at one time at their dollar spot or dollar fifty spot. It has a few different, um, a few different ones, either a circle or like a tag, but I went with the circle. My first one, is this uh it's like my cover page and it kind of sets the theme obviously which is easter spring and um i had this little bow sticker that i put on there i used a few of them and then the back it says spring has sprung so this one is more of a setting the theme so then i have this pack of easter stickers and i made the little tag topper on there and i reinforced it with the little stickers we get like at Dollar Tree so I, and some of them I did make actually punch reinforced so the back is like that and let's see here and I used this little blue um, ring it was the only one only color I had so now that I know how to make these I'm at the dollar it's like some kind of dollar store by my work they sell these packs so I'm gonna buy another pack it was like 10 of them I think and then I have this little um, wooden uh, piece of um i guess embellishment to embellish wood crafts or do whatever you want with it so my next tag here i have two paper clips that are springy colors and i made this pocket and i actually had to use a tiny little stapler to reinforce it because i was scared that the tape wasn't going to hold and i have some of these uh cutouts that i use with my uh different dies that i have and these are bases for cards or for any other projects. So I just used Easter colors. And I had this one cut out which I, I cut with the little um, si um, the scissors to give it a little different edge to it. Here's the back. I love this back. I used a gold doily, a little cut apart, and this little um, glitter sheep. It's beautiful purple paper. Next is this page. I'm trying to stay within frame. Oh, let's put, let me put these back. Oy. Put these back real quick. Okay. So next is this one. Don't forget you are totally red. Isn't this cute? It's inspirational. I know it's not Easter, but I loved it. And back here, I cut some paper to fit, fit this. Okay, so I remember now. This is a this paper is four and a half by six, and the reason I cut it this size is to fit here. And I just put it on here with some clips, hot pink clips. That way she can use this paper to work on whatever projects. And I just cut up a few of the uh, patterns that I've been used along the along this project. So this goes here, and I think if I could find a bigger ring, it'd be better. Um, um, this is my first time, so I'm getting the hang of it. So here's another one that I made, a uh, topper to this little pocket, and this is a bunch of cut aparts. They're, I think they're four and a half by four and a half, and there's a few different ones in there. I, I cut, it was a 12 by 12 cut apart page. Some I used in the project, but the rest I put in here. Next is this pocket with tags and little round circles. I had extra paper, so I said, let me just punch out little round circles. And I have different, um, uh, sticking with the pattern of all the paper that I used. I have all these different tags. I used my little die cut and 
Let's, again, these little circles, circle punches, just using that extra paper. And here's the back. And I cut up this little tag. I just put some string on it and I taped it on there. There's another little bow. I layered a layered effect with one of the little cut apart, little frames that I used with um, the die. Here's another wood piece. It's a little bird in a cage. Here's a sticker pack, Easter sticker pack. And look at this page. It's uh, a, it's a bunch of sequins. But what I did is I didn't make it a shaker tag. I just kind of wanted to gift her this sequin. So I used one of the little bags that has the self healing, uh, sealing. But I had to put some tape over it because I, like a little bit was coming out of the sides. So I sealed it with just with the safe, um, self sealing. And then I fold it over and I put a piece of tape. So this is, and then she could just, you know, save it in this little bag. But how cute is, and here's what I use as a reinforcer. I punched a little circle and punched another, I punched a circle and then I punched a little center hole and then I just um, glued it on here. There's the back of that tag. And then this tag, how cute is this? Made a little envelope with my punch board and I put a little piece of washi tape and I added some stickers in here, a bunch of flower stickers. I cut it all up so I could fit in here. I was gonna put it on a tag, but I said, you know what, let me cut them up and put them in an envelope. So that's floral stickers. And then here, I got a little bag and I just washi tape and I put a bunch of cut parts. Again, she could just take it off with the washi. And this is a little bag and she could, you know, put it away somewhere else. Here's another great idea. Little, I gave her some little flowers. I got a little box at Michael's a few weeks ago and I gave her like half the box because they're very cramped in there. And I put this little hot pink glitter. And then the last page is this envelope. And, let's see here, put some washi. I didn't want, I wanted to, I had some other ideas to put in here, but everything was getting too bulky. So I put a pack of super cute stickers. And, let's see here. So then, I got my pretty pastel ribbon. I cut up a few different pieces, about maybe four, 12 to 14 inches long. I put a few different strands on here so she could use them for future projects. And there you have it. My first ever loaded tag flip. Easter slash spring inspired by Lisa. Yes, Lisa from the crafty meetup I attended. So that's what I have to share on this um, March morning. Hope everybody has a great week and I hope to be sharing more crafts soon. Thank you.